Okay, greetings everyone. I'm back to Max Payne. Now let's play this. Uh, last time I was getting my butt kicked because this game actually has got a punishing difficulty. And I found that out when I charged through this door. Everybody has a shotgun. They like to shoot Max in the face and Max doesn't like it because as you can see, I am... And the, the lower left is my health, which is in a pretty bad shape right now. Um, if I go through that door, I'm probably going to die. Fortunately, I saved it there, so I'll just be able to reload, but I don't want to die. I don't really want to die. Oh, I have to press the, the console. Okay. All right, there we go. We cleared it. That took a lot of concentration. Okay, and Max Payne can heal off his damage. Like the limb. Uh, maybe I can find some painkillers. Ooh, painkillers! Lots of painkillers. Oh, the phone is ringing. Let's answer it. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just rethink our, our uh, criminal activity. Yeah, shut that off. Shut up. Oh no, it's just gonna keep going. Uh, let's, let's down some painkillers. Ah, they were tasty. Desert Eagle's full. Alarm's going off. Uh, might want to save it because I, I just, uh, got past that. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to lose my progress again. Can we go in the vault? Nope. What about, uh, Vault A? Vault A or Vault C? That's closed. The kid get in there. Oh, can somebody turn off that blasted alarm? Okay, I can't go that way. Uh, oh, Vault A's open now. The bank robbers have left their tools on the table. Let's take them then. So, what about the bomb? Judging by the detonators, the oh, crooks detonator. have blown enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. So let's just backtrack. No? Uh, let's access the computer over here. Nothing. Can't get that. All right, let's try to go through uh, this. Nope. Let's push the button again. Oh, okay. I see how it works. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Very informative. Very, very informative. Alright, so we gotta open up B again. There we go. Make it sure they could come at me at any moment. In fact, here's here's a good spot for for another safety save since I'm getting I'm taking a lot of damage. Nothing, nothing, just rats. Okay, I gotta find that. Ooh, grenades. Nice. Okay, this is the door. Well, it got blown up. Take that door. Hold it. Max, Jesus. 
You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're right glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? Lupino? Who is that? Out of bigger place. Oh, he just spawned his gun. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! We barely knew him. There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. What? <laughs> Got shot in the face. Oh, no. Yeah, take it! Wow, he dropped a couple guns. Right in the nuts. He's not getting back up from that one. I don't like the fact that I took damage there. Just gotta check your corners. Oh my god, those stairs! Did he just like randomly explode? Got him. Yeah, take it. Likes to die in slow motion. Every single one of them. Is there anything in here? Ooh, painkillers. Lots of painkillers. Let's open that. Uh, let's check the cash register. Check it again. And check it a third time. Let's check the mail. And check the soda machine. Cold drinks. All right. Free drinks. <sighs> Too bad Max can't drink them. Okay, can't go that way. That no, was just a mailbox, but it could have been a deadly mailbox. All right, it's snowing outside. Two hundred five dollars for a fine. Alex, it kept me relatively sane for the past well, few years. Everything now I've seen from New York for driving. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. And we're already on chapter three. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. And I'm mad! I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors. Cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? He's got a headache. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. <laughs> I got something for the boss. You know, around. That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan. It looks answer. like he just hotboxed the hot box the covers it, uh, with, with farts. And it's Lupino like I'm waiting here, for an unsuspecting. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. <clears throat> My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me, and then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Wow, this guy can really take it. Yeah, 
Yeah, got them. Let's go. Let's go loot their safe now. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Uh, no, it didn't. The safe caught my eye. Painkillers. Everything all right? Yes, everything's all right. I just put I put bullets in them. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Gagnetti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He's gonna play darts. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Coming in. Uh, there he is. I am not here. I disagree with your assessment of the situation. Yo. You just took like a bunch of double O buck to the chest and you were fine. I have to use my painkillers. What, what about the what about the booze? Um I wanna open this. Okay, it's snowing outside. Is this a toilet? It's a broken toilet. Can't go down there. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Ah, I found the toilet. Ah, it has painkillers in the toilet. For, for when you have to take a really, really nasty dump. And there's a washing machine in there for some reason. Like, why would you put a washing machine where the toilet is? Love Hotel? In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. It could have been me. The noose <clears throat> is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal that. as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Oh, thank you, Radio. Interesting bed. I guess these are all porn mags. And vodka. Let's go. Um, okay, they got a bunch of uh, pin ups there. That's not the way I go. Oh. Ah, well, I'm full. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, okay, I figured it out. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there, and then oh! I wonder if I could have shot those. Let, let, let me save it before I attempt this. I'm going to attempt a shortcut. And it didn't work. Shortcut denied. Now you know. Anything in here? Doesn't seem like it.
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not how doors behave. Ooh, can we get some free snacks? Come on, come on. What, what do we get? It's too hard. It's too uh, low quality to tell. I don't know if this guy's a bad guy, so we should blow him away anyway. Somebody's using the toilet. I don't like that. Let's turn this bed on. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marky Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, in all And now with more explosive Lord, action. Brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. How he Oh my god, they've got their stormtrooper aim going. And I've got my stormtrooper aim going. Oh, he got me. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest. This is my favorite telenovela. Let's get a drink while we're watching it. Wait, can we go through this? But my lady, I must, I must. That's a fire extinguisher. I forbid you. This cannot be. This must not be. But why, my love? Why? Okay, let's go check the rooms. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg you. What's this? Oh, nope. I don't want to know anything about that. My lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am. My lord, I am your long lost sister. V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Just toilet paper? Yeah, we can leave the junkies alone. Oh, painkillers, painkillers. Our, our own kind of uh, junky behavior. <laughs> there he is. I am not here. They keep acting like I'm here. I'm I'm silent, like a ninja. They'll never detect me. Okay, nothing in here. They all seem to like these same pinups. How do we get stuck in this uh, hotel anyway? I open the door. Master at lock picking. Piece of crap! <laughs> Ooh, get him! I was aiming nowhere near him, but I will take it. Okay, I need to take some more painkillers. Nope, those are more pinups. Looks like he's having a good time. Red ammo's full. Open these. Painkillers? All right. Max really likes those. Okay, why were, why did they brick up these rooms? They open that. I want to go see what's over here. So if I set him off, so be it. He looks like a zombie, man. Oh, those are just tattoos. Never mind. <laughs> Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up with that? Rest in pieces. And another washing machine. They really like them around here. I found Muerte's room. What, what's in this room, though? Well, if this is Muerte's room, it's it's a. Oh no! I didn't mean to use the painkillers. Why did I do that? What about over here? Uh, hi, Muerte. Oh, clever. Oh, you know what? That that reminds me of the story that I was watching the other day about the um the uh, 
booby trap shotgun about the the guy in like the 1800s or early 1900s or something that uh, had received a letter kept getting his house robbed so he set up a uh, a uh, shotgun booby trap to um, take care of it and he got sued by the by the burglar and I can't remember if he got anything out of it but uh, it's it, it's worth looking up why, why won't these open okay is it, is it unlocked let's turn on this bed Ooh. Ah, sawed off shotgun. What about this? Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Is there any more evidence to collect? Uh, guess not. Hey, 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 hey! Well, at least there are painkillers in here. Hey! Interesting scream, interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's just toilet paper. Thought it was some more painkillers. Can't go through there? Really? Oh, can I go through here? Well, here. Anywhere. Can I go anywhere? Okay, I'm confuzzled as to where to go. Let's try over here one more time. Third floor. No longer confuzzled. I definitely want to save before going out on that because remember about the shortcut I took earlier. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Okay, it looks like somebody was out vampire hunting and they found their vampire, so... Let's not disturb that, because if you take the stake out, the vampire will come back. Uh, what? Oh, I found painkillers. Maybe I can open it? More painkillers. Oh. Take that. Um, let me save again and see if I can take a shortcut. Let's go out of bounds. Oh no, it killed me. Oh no, it killed me again. What a surprise. Okay, I'm really confuzzled as to where to go. I guess I gotta go back. Wait, wait, I hear guys. Lambo! What a jerk! Gotta eat my painkillers now.
Okay, I can't go that way. Even if I wanted to. I hear guys. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on in here? Yo! Told you. God damn. I thought it was a bomb for sure. It is a bomb. A Max Payne bomb. Uh, yeah, I, I admit that was, uh... Kinda lame, but... Okay, you go do that. Let's look around. Can I, can I get in this room? 216? Any more shotgun booby traps? The hooker had left her diary on the table. Did she? No? No? You're not gonna give it to me? What's over here? Nothing? Well, let's go in here then. Oh, they were filming this too. Okay, what about the diary? I heard something about a diary. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Okay, uh, we left the bed on. Got a bunch of VHSs. Can't go that way. Wait, what? What the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? I'm just passing through, bro. Tim, go get him. No, wait, you go get him. You go and get him. They're trying to decide which one of them dies first. I'm just gonna have to go hunt them down. Okay, did I get everybody? Uh, nothing. Service elevator personnel only. Let's push the button then. All right, chapter four. All right, that seems like a... The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. Your rats on top of the elevator. All right, like I said, it, or about was about to say, that looks like a good place to stop. So leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below, and uh, I will see you next time.